On today's episode, we're going to grind a FE Ford solid roller going all the way to Australia. come in here on this first lobe and get started. And we gotta set our overall lobe height, figure out where that's at, and set a stop. This core is like uh, 280 at 50 with a 410 lobe lift, 108 plus four. And we're gonna grind it um, 270 on the intake with a 419 lobe and 275 on the exhaust with a uh, 419 lobe, 108 plus three. So we're not, we're not gonna have to take off a whole lot. the whole base circle just cleaned up all, almost. Yeah, there's the base circle, so just got a little bit on the nose and we'll be there. The nose is about to come in. There it is. So we'll check that heel to toe. See where we at. Yep. 
So we at 1722 right now. Pan around here. And let's look at this. So I whittle this up here so you can see what what we trying to figure out with the heel to toe. Let me see what this is our journal diameter. And and the way we figure, can you can you see that good? Uh, so the way we figure this height, this is heel to toe, the base circle to the peak. So we take the journal diameter, we divide it by two, and then you minus the lobe lift, you multiply that number by two, and that gives you the base circle diameter. Then if we take that number, base circle plus the lobe lift, and that gives us 1706, so that gives us the heel to toe complete. So for us to be under, for the peak of that lobe to be just under the journal, we usually give it five or ten thousandths clearance. So we're going to shoot heel to toe, we're going to shoot for one in 695 to one seven hundred. And, and th this holds true across the board on anything with a journal cam that goes in a block through a cam bearing. This don't really apply on like overhead cam stuff with caps and the cams will come out. But uh, but that's how we figure it. And so we at 1722 now and we need to be like 117 and I always leave 10 or so for a finish pass. So we'll run them all to like 117 and then we'll come back and finish them. So you can see right here, we got a stop we can set. So when we get to there, that's the that's the dimension. So we can we come to a stop on every lobe, so we know we know where we where we at. All right. This is a 8660 induction hardened core, so I mean this guy, it's got a quarter inch of heat treat, but but we we didn't we didn't hardly take anything off. I mean we probably didn't move 30 thousandths total heel to toe, so we didn't get into the heat treat 15 or 20 thousandths. So that should be our dimension. We'll check it and make sure. So that's like 12, so we need to take just a couple of more off of it. We'll adjust our stop. can see that little bit of how it's hitting on this side heavier than the other side. That's cause the intake center line we grinding it at is slightly retarded from the intake center line that the core was actually ground on or roughed in on, I mean. But it's only like a one degree or, or one and a half degree, something like that.
So we got through all the intakes. <clears throat> We're fixing the setup on the exhaust, and I'm going. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how we do the uh, lobe separation with the uh, dividing head, and then the uh, exhaust lobe. How the follower moves and, and all that jazz. Alright, so right there is zero and zero. So if we roll it, so that's 108 right there. And so that's how we split the difference to get the lobe separation. And then over here on the back side. So, yep. So this this is the intake lobe and this is the exhaust lobe. So you, you can't see the follow wheel. So the follow wheel just clicks over and it's got a detent that locks it in position to do the exhaust load. All right, so then it's the same procedure, so we'll have to rough in the load, get the height right, set our stop, and then we can run all the exhaust, rough in all the exhaust. both lobes have the exact same lobe lift, the heel to toe measurement <coughs> will, will be the same from one to the other, but if you've got two different lobe lifts, <coughs> then you'll have two different heel to toe measurements, two different base circles, and that'll also give you two different length push rods. <coughs> no, it just cleaned up, so we're going to measure that and see where we're at. <laughs> yep. 
so that's 20. So if we close, there's a couple of thousands difference between one to the other. to go. So that's how, I mean, you know, that's how we do it. So <clears throat> I'm going to stop right there. But basically we just finish out the exhaust, roughing them, and then we fine dress the wheel and then run the whole pattern again. And then when we're finished, we take the cam over to the cam doctor and we run it through the cam doctor and that generates a cam card. So the customer will have, like this is a solid, so the customer will have hot lash settings on the card and then it'll give all the durations, lobe lift, lip at the valve. Um, you know, we show the durations at multiple different intervals and, uh, and that's how we do it. So just another video, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.